I'm Jodie Benvenist, a psychologist and parenting author, and I help parents get to the true heart of parenting. In this video, we're going to talk about where do you get your parenting ideas from? In the video on parenting styles and what works best for children, we talked about the supportive parenting style, which is really the one that benefits children. It's about being warm and loving, but also providing boundaries and guiding their behaviour. But within that broad framework of the supportive parenting style, we still have to make lots of choices as parents. And the question is, how do you make choices that are best for you and your family? We face many challenges as parents. You might be facing sleep issues or fussy eating or discipline problems. And there's lots of conflicting and confusing information out there and it can be very overwhelming. It can be difficult to know what to do. There can be family and friends who've got opinions. There are experts who have their own areas of expertise. And there's also so much information online and it can be really confusing and conflicting. Parents tend to trust information and advice from family and friends, but sometimes that advice can be outdated and sometimes it's based more on opinion than real evidence. Experts can provide great information, but sometimes they can be inconsistent across experts because it's based on their own area of expertise. The information online is very accessible, it's right there, it's at your fingertips, but it's not always credible, it's not always reliable, and it's not always relevant to your family. There are two ways or two aspects that can really help you to make good choices for your family and that is to have a good understanding of your child's development and also to understand your family values. When we have a good understanding of child development, we can have the right expectations about our children's behaviour. It also helps us to judge whether the information we've received and the advice is actually right developmentally for our child. Take language development, for example. A baby begins their language development with crying and then they go into babbling and then they speak words and then they string sentences together. And as a parent, we can't expect a toddler to be able to communicate as effectively as a school-aged child. When it comes to fine motor and physical development, children develop too as they age. We can't expect a baby to dress themselves, but we can expect our, our preschooler to do that. There's actually lots of great, reliable information on child development. You might like to check out some of the links, including the Child and Youth Health website, the Parenting SA Parent Easy Guides, and also the Raising Children's Network website. When we're making choices for our family, it's also really helpful to have an understanding of our family values. Values are our deepest desires about the person we want to be, the kids we want to raise, and the life we'd like to live. We all have family values, even if we're not consciously aware of them. When we are aware of our values, we can really use them as the backbone to our parenting. They can provide a very firm foundation and they give us the reason why we do certain things with our children. You might value kindness in your family, or patience, or creativity, or fun, or safety. So that's why there's no hitting or yelling in your home. If we value well-being, then that's why we go to the effort of cooking healthy food for our children and we don't let our children eat lots of junk food, even if they want to. If we value responsibility, that's when we expect our children to help around the house, do some chores, tidy their room, because that's what we do in our family. If we value creativity, that's why we limit screen time, because we know that children who don't spend too much time on screens are much more creative and much more imaginative. When we know our values, we can also check ourselves against them. So if we do find ourselves yelling at our children, Child, we can say, does that really fit with my values and is that really how I want to behave as a parent? Our values can come from our upbringing, our background, our culture. Our values can also come from social messages about what is good parent, what is good mum, what is good dad. But we can also actively choose what values are important to us. And we can also have a conversation with our partner about what values are important to them. We don't necessarily have to agree and have exactly the same values because our children can learn different things from different parents. But it does help to have that conversation and have that shared understanding. You can identify your values in a number of ways. You can think about yourself at your best, your best as a parent. What values are you showing? Are you being loving? Are you being kind? Are you being fun? That can help you to decide what values are really important to you. 
You can think about your legacy and how you want to be remembered. What kind of a mom or a dad do you want to be remembered as? You can also think about your children as adults and what values you would love to see them showing when they're older. You can also search online, there's plenty of lists of values and you can actually go through the lists and choose the ones that really resonate with you and make you feel good about yourself and your family. Raising children is a learning experience. We don't have all the experience and knowledge we need when we first become parents. We really do learn as we go. We face many challenges as parents and it can be difficult to know where to find good, reliable information. We can ask family and friends, we can get professional help, we can search online, there's certainly lots of information there. But at the end of the day, we need to bring it back to our family and we need to filter all of that information. It does really help if we've got a good understanding of our child's development and where they're at developmentally. And when we understand our values, we can really make the right decisions for ourselves and for our family.